In-car technology can be used to provide drivers with extra information about upcoming events. For example, visual alerts can be used to give a last-minute warning of a lane closure. Such warnings could for example be triggered by beacons that are positioned along the roadside. An open question, however, is how effective such last-minute warnings are. We tested this in a user study. Drivers steered on a long road that we programmed in the OpenDS simulation framework. Occasionally, they would get a last-minute warning that they had to change lanes. This warning was given by a visual in-car alert, as you can see here. From the literature, we know that drivers are not always fully concentrated on driving, so we also tested how well people performed when they were distracted by an auditory task. Here you see me demonstrating the setup. Graag. Graag. Truc. Cadeau. Our results showed that, on average, participants changed lanes in a timely manner. However, sometimes they changed too late. How might this translate to a setting on an actual road? Our participants did not need to check their mirrors or anticipate other traffic. However, from the literature we know how long these steps take in traffic. We used a computer simulation to estimate how long lane changes might take on an actual road where participants also need to check their mirrors. The simulation used two data sets. The reaction times that we measured in our experiment, and in addition, a distribution of how long it takes to check your mirror in actual traffic. The model generated multiple data points. For each data point, we sampled one value from our experiment data set, and we sampled another value from the distribution of mirror look times. We then added these values together to get an estimate of how quickly drivers might change lanes in real traffic. We ran the simulation multiple times to get many estimates. The trend in the data is very consistent. In situations where drivers rely on last minute warnings, a large number of drivers might not have enough time to change lanes. Our conclusion, therefore, is that in-car warnings can be effective, but only when they are given timely. More details can be found in the paper.